Hey guys, so just got back from seeing a re-release of the movie Turning Red. Now, this movie's a few years old. I said in my previous video, uh, the reason why I'm reviewing this now is that uh, Pixar and Disney decided to re-release this in the theaters for the first time. Um, I know I can watch it on streaming and stuff like that, but I never have gotten around to watching it. So I was like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> like, just nothing else other than Lisa Frankenstein, so might as well Go see that. I was always meaning to watch it. I've had, I've seen all the Pixar movies except two. This is one of them. Uh, they also re-released uh, last month Soul, which I've already seen. So I, I and I re highly recommend it. Uh, for anybody who hasn't seen it, I did see it when it when it came out on streaming, but I haven't seen this in Luca. Luca is coming out in a month or so too. But uh, I. I had heard of, out of all the movies, this is the one I always heard a lot about, mainly because of the controversy uh, that surrounded this movie when it came out. Anybody remember that fucking controversy that surrounded this fucking movie? I remember, like, going, what the fuck? <laughs> like, just being baffled by, like, I, I, like, I, I can't remember the, the, I remember the only parts of the controversy, but there was some parent outrage over this fucking movie because how dare a kid's Disney movie talk about, you know, puberty and menstruation and shit like that to little kids. Why the fuck would you do that? How dare you? I'm <laughs> like, whatever. I was like, it was, it was, it was like my fucking thought process. I was like, now I've finally seen the movie. I enjoyed the hell out of it. And it's one of those, I still can't, I, I still am baffled by the fucking controversy of it, about, over this movie. Um, this movie is like an enjoyable fucking little film. Is it my favorite Pixar film? No. Is it in my top ten? No. But, it's still a pretty goddamn good one. Uh, one of the better ones in, over the last few years. Uh, I enjoyed the story. I like uh, the characters and the, you know, this is a movie where it's about a little girl who is turning 13 who fucking whenever she starts to feel emotions or like a normal teenager does, she becomes a big red panda. And I, like, the fact that people got up in arms about that shit is fucking hilarious to me. Um, yeah, it's a movie that's obviously an allegory about puberty and menstruation. I mean, literally, they, there's a scene where the mom offers her pads because she thinks she's having her period. Even though they don't say that flat out in the movie, uh, they... It's it's a it's a goofy fucking kids movie. Like seriously, like you ever notice that the people that call other people snowflakes are the biggest snowflakes of them all? Uh, and like they fucking bitch about every goddamn thing, especially kids movies. God forbid if you had a gay person in a fucking kids movie. Um, but yeah, like I have no problem with this. It's like it's a kind of a goofy send up about a topic that is important to, be, to talk to about with little kids, which is growing up and becoming, you know, becoming a, a teenager, you know, how awkward it is, and uh, it's, I, I enjoyed the, uh, like, uh, the movie in that, like, it's a movie about how her mom is trying to make her like her, and it's one of those typical stories, like the overbearing mom, there were, it was funny, I just saw a movie of Carla Cagino, where she was an overbearing, this mom was not, not as ridiculously over the top, but she was, did be a little bit, a little bit ridiculous, and she wants her to be just like her, and she is alarmed by all these different things that are changing about her daughter, and, you know, in a way their daughter's acting, and now that she's becoming a teenager, like every fucking parent does, uh, in trying to figure out how to deal with it, and like you know, this movie, she also becomes a red, big giant red panda, and she wants her and her mom had the same thing happen to her. It happens to all their fucking generations, and they 
her mom and her grandma and basically all learned how to control it. And she wants to help her control it, basically, and hide it from the world or some shit like that. It's goofy as hell. And like I said, I enjoyed the hell out of it for what it was. Yeah, is there, the only, I think the only moment I was like, this is a little awkward, where uh, she's having all the kids in school want to take pictures of her panda. And I'm like, and like she's like, I, spreading her panda around the school or some shit. I've heard there's one line. I've heard what it was. I'm like, is this supposed to be a weird fucking allegory for sexting? Or am I reading too much? <laughs> That's like, this is getting a little weird and awkward. Uh, I don't think you really should teach kids about that, but all right. I mean, it's, this movie's it's, it's servicely passable and fine little movie. I don't understand the people that get up worked up about it. Uh, it's not my favorite Pixar movie, but it's it's definitely an enjoyable one if you haven't seen it. Um, and, like, I... I mean, it, it's a subject that even I know my poor sister is dealing with right now because I have a little niece who's about to be fucking a teenager. I imagine this... She can probably you know, relate to some of this. Um... And, uh, like, obviously, like, this movie deals with a lot of hormones and stuff like that. Like, as she slowly finds that she's attracted to, little, to boys and stuff like that, this little girl does. And, uh, it's a weird movie to talk about as a grown ass adult male. <laughs> but honestly, there was two grown ass men that were sitting in a theater with me watching it. So I didn't feel that awkward. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a per perfectly serviceable movie, movie. I give it a B. It's all. Be. It's not my favorite Pixar movie, like I said. Um, I hope I, I know most people have seen this already, but hey, if you liked it, like, uh, then well, I, like I just hope that you don't like it just because of some weird. You don't want your kids to learn about menstruation or puberty or a kid Disney movie, and like you take this movie too fucking seriously. Like God, grow the fuck up. Anyways. Uh, that's as far as Turning Red goes. Uh, next week, what is next week? Uh, oh, oh my. Bob Marley, Lo One Love, which I was looking forward to, not, but I'm hearing bad things about as the reviews are popping up. And Madam Web. I think they're getting land of bad, I think. But, yeah, for sure, Madam Web, Bob Marley, One Love, so yay me. Uh, until then, I'll talk to you guys later.